The American alligator is a conservation success story in Florida. The Sunshine State has a healthy and stable alligator population, which is estimated at 1.3 million alligators of every size. Florida's statewide alligator harvest has been nationally and internationally recognized as a model program for the sustainable use of a renewable natural resource. Each year, alligator management units are established with appropriate harvest quotas to provide recreational opportunities. Harvest quotas are set based on annual population assessments and management objectives. This training provides tips for safe, responsible participation in the statewide alligator harvest. The Guide to Alligator Hunting in Florida is another valuable online tool. Find it and other resources at myfwc.com alligator. Alligator harvest permits provide two types of opportunities. One is for a particular county and the other is for a specific harvest unit. People permitted to take alligators in countywide harvest units are allowed to hunt alligators in most public bodies of water in a particular county, except for areas that are already identified as a specific alligator harvest unit. Public bodies of water can be accessed by public boat landings. You can find most public boat landings with the FWC's public boat ramp finder, which is located at myfwc.com boating. With a countywide permit, you may also hunt private ponds or lakes within that county, if you have permission from the landowner. A permit for a specific harvest unit provides the opportunity to hunt alligators only within the lake, impoundment, or section of river indicated on the permit. For detailed information about where you can and cannot hunt, we recommend you carefully review the legal description of the area you plan to hunt. It is the hunter's responsibility to make sure they are hunting within the legal geographic bounds of their permitted activity. You can find alligator harvest unit descriptions and maps showing unit boundaries at myfwc.com alligator. Click on the banner for the statewide alligator harvest program. Your alligator trapping license and harvest permit come with two hide validation CITES tags and allow for the take of two alligators. Your alligator trapping license also allows you to help other permitted hunters. Your alligator trapping license, statewide alligator harvest permit, and the two alligator CITES tags should be delivered by the U.S. Postal Service about six weeks after payment. When you receive your license and permit package, check the license and make sure your name and the harvest area and period are correct. In addition, check that both CITES tag numbers match those listed on the permit. If you notice any discrepancies, call our Office of License and Permitting as soon as possible at 850-488-3641. If you do not have an alligator trapping license, an alligator trapping agent license can be purchased for $52 regardless of residency. This license allows anyone 16 years old and older to assist in an alligator hunt when in the presence of someone who has a statewide alligator harvest permit. Youth ages 15 and younger don't need a license to assist a permitted hunter. In addition, those possessing a Florida resident persons with disabilities hunting and fishing license are exempt from the cost, but must still have an alligator trapping agent license to assist a permitted hunter. The alligator trapping agent license is available at GoOutdoorsFlorida.com, county tax collector's offices, and most retail outlets that sell hunting and fishing supplies. It's also available by calling 888-HUNT-FLORIDA. Other people may accompany a permitted hunter, and they do not need a license as long as they don't actively participate in the take of alligators. Take would include assisting with the capture, restraint, landing, or dispatching of the alligator in any way. For example, holding a bang stick, harpoon, or other alligator harvest equipment can be considered helping with the take. However, holding a light or driving the boat are not considered helping in the take and thus can be done without a license. To be legal to harvest, alligators must be at least 18 inches long, measured from the tip of snout to the tip of tail. The statewide recreational alligator hunting season runs from August 15th to November 1st each year. Depending on the harvest period you were awarded, you are assigned to hunt one of the first four weeks of the alligator hunting season listed on the screen. If you don't harvest both of your alligators during your assigned harvest week, you may hunt during the open period, which runs from September 12th through November 1st. Please note, if you were awarded an alligator harvest permit for any of the stormwater treatment areas, including STA harvest units, A1FEB, 
or Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge, you are only allowed to hunt alligators there on the weekends. Hunting hours for alligators are between 5 p.m. and 10 a.m. the next morning. At Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge, hunting hours are one hour before sunset through one hour after sunrise. Visit myfwc.com alligator and click on the Statewide Alligator Harvest Program for information about specific harvest units. Scouting is an important part of preparing for your alligator hunt. If you are scouting during non-hunting hours or during a day you are not licensed to hunt, you must keep all alligator hunting equipment disassembled and stowed away or leave it at home. You may scout for alligators at any time on most areas, but there are harvest units with restricted access before and or during the alligator season. For information about specific harvest units, visit myfwc.com alligator and click on the Statewide Alligator Harvest Program. Several alligator hunting gear and equipment vendors are included in the alligator links page at myfwc.com alligator. If you want to hire a guide, you can find one at myfwc.com outfitters. Legal methods of take for alligator hunting in Florida include bows, crossbows, gigs, harpoons, spears, and spear guns. It is important to note that all points used in any of these methods of take must be attached to a restraining line. Fishing rods using weighted treble hooks or artificial lures are also legal as well as hand-lined snatch hooks and handheld devices with an adjustable catch loop such as catch poles. Catch and release is only allowed when using snatch hooks, catch poles, and similar devices with an adjustable catch loop. Therefore, if you are using any other legal method of take, only attempt to capture an alligator that you plan to keep. If you want to use bait, you must wrap it around a wooden peg that is less than two inches long. It is unlawful to use a hook when you are using bait, and you must remain in contact with the bait by holding onto the other end of the line at all times, using either a fishing rod or a handheld line or attaching the line to the permittee's vessel. Because alligators are not classified as game animals, electronic recorded game calls and sounds may be used when hunting alligators. A bang stick is the only firearm you are allowed to use in Florida to take an alligator, and it can only be used when an alligator is attached to a restraining line. That's a that's a harpoon but, you got uh, right there. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a harpoon. Um, uh, this is a fairly short pole on a harpoon. A lot of people will use a longer pole, but uh, but a harpoon provides a very secure connection to the alligator. Um, when, when you hit the, the alligator with the harpoon, the tip comes out um, and, uh, and releases from the pole. Uh, the harpoon tip um, gets um, caught underneath the hide of the alligator right. and it provides a very secure connection. Uh, this one has a wire cable connected to a significant line. Um, so it makes for a very secure connection to the alligator. Right. You can put a lot of pressure, you can control the alligator. And, uh, and, and that's what you want to do. You want to be able to control the alligator. You want to wear the alligator right. down right. before you get him to the boat. That's On harpoons, generally, people um, will attach the end to a, uh, to a buoy. Uh, you harpoon the alligator and, and you let him go. You let him wear himself out again. Uh, the harpoon is, is good for vegetation. Yeah. The crossbow, a lot of people use a compound bow. Yeah. Um, that's all good for, uh, for any type of application, especially yeah. uh, uh, heavily vegetated areas. Right. But uh, when you're in open water, you uh, you can also you know that's when you can use the um, the, the weighted treble hook yep. with, the, with the casting rod. Yep. Uh, when you can't get close to an alligator, there there are other options, um, like a, a the snatch hook on a fishing pole. You can cast this a long oh, way. When you've got some open water like we have behind us, um, you can use a snatch hook. Um, if if you're in a heavily vegetated area. This does not work very well. And basically, right. that's just a uh, kind of a heavy duty uh, saltwater casting it, rod. It's a heavy rod. duty um, saltwater rod. It could, you know, whatever whatever you're comfortable with casting. Um, um, longer surf rods, or obviously you'll be able to cast a longer distance. There. It's uh, it's a it's a braided line, braided line. Um, about 65 pounds. You could you could find it, um, you know, heavier pound test than that. Um, but uh, oh, that's good uh, but the braided lines tend to be hold up, hold up better. And you've got a, do you have a, I think you've got a heavier and, maybe uh, leader And there's on a it? leader, there's a, there's about a 300 pound leader. Okay. When you've got an alligator resting on the bottom, 
um, you can drop a larger snatch hook down. You, so you try to, so you basically uh, and, kind of pitch it in where you think he's at by the by the by the air bubbles. Yeah. You throw it past him yeah. and let it, and then and then you try to hook him exactly. like that. The two inch wooden peg is is something that you use if you can get close enough to an alligator to use one of these other methods. That's what you're doing. Okay. Uh, this this is something you use when alligators get very skittish. Uh, well, well, first of all, it the bait your bait has to float. Okay. Um, like so, if, if your beef bait, lung is what everybody likes to use, right? Uh, beef lung, cow lung is tends to be the preferred bait. It, it stinks. It's bloody. <laughs> it floats really well. Um, uh, but whatever you use, it has to float. Um, if your bait sinks, the alligator's never going to find it. Okay. With, with alligators, you still have to find an alligator. So you see the alligator that you want. The alligator goes under. You maybe approach him with the trolling motor. Very you, you set it out, and then you back off very exactly. slowly, and you and you wait. Yes, okay. and you wait. Yeah. Yeah. An alligator has um, has flaps in the back of their throat um, in order to keep water from from entering their um, esophagus okay. and their lungs right. when they when they submerge. Um, and uh, and when you allow an alligator to completely swallow the baited wooden peg, um, the uh, the peg gets caught in behind those flaps. Okay. And is difficult to pull out. Now you can pull it out if you you know if you put enough pressure on it. Okay. Um, so this is not something that um, that you'll want to use to try to you know to horse an alligator okay. to the boat. Okay. Once you have an alligator on the line and alongside your boat it's recommended you use a bang stick to humanely dispatch it. The next step is to slip an adjustable catch loop over the alligator's snout and pull it tight so the mouth cannot open. Use a catch pole or similar device to pull the alligator's head over the side of the boat. Then take a stick-like object and push down on the alligator's snout to further prevent its mouth from being able to open. Carefully and quickly grab the side of the jaw and apply enough pressure to keep its mouth completely shut. Then, wrap the snout tightly and securely with electrical or duct tape. With the top of the alligator's head facing up, use a sharp knife to sever the spinal cord by cutting across the body between the back of the head and the first vertebrae. To ensure the alligator is dead, insert a metal shaft into the brain cavity to pith and destroy the brain. Only after these steps is it safe to pull the alligator into your boat. Immediately after the alligator is dead, you must attach your alligator sides tag within six inches of the tip of its tail. Cut a slit through the tail, slide the tag through the slit and securely lock the tag. Make sure to pull hard on the tag to confirm it is locked securely. Until the alligator's hide is tanned, mounted by a taxidermist or made into alligator products, the sides tag must remain in place on the tail. Alligator hunting can be dangerous, so use appropriate caution during your hunt. Alligator hunters using a boat must follow Florida boating regulations, including using navigation lights at night and having a wearable life jacket on board for each person on the vessel. Because obstructions in the water are harder to see at night and the behavior of restrained alligators is unpredictable, we recommend everyone wear a properly fitted life jacket. In the unfortunate event you are bitten by an alligator, Seek professional medical attention right away because even minor bites or scratches can result in serious infection. It is also important to use caution when handling a bang stick. Bang sticks, like all firearms, must be pointed in a safe direction at all times. They should be unloaded when not in use. Within 24 hours of harvesting an alligator and prior to taking it to an alligator processing facility, you must complete an alligator harvest report form. You have the option of doing it online at myfwc.com slash alligator, or you may fill out the carbon copy harvest report form included in your permit package. Instructions for completing the harvest report form are on the back of the carbon copy form. Once completed, mail it to the address on the screen. Please also note that a copy of this completed form must accompany your alligator hide at all times. When filling out your alligator harvest report form, you will be asked for information such as the number on the CITES tag attached to the alligator, date harvested, county and location, total length, tail girth, and sex. If you take an alligator that measures 14 feet or greater, please call 352-357-0190 as soon as possible so the FWC can take an official measurement. 
Alligator meat can spoil quickly, so your alligator should be cooled to below 45 degrees within four hours after harvesting it. Until the alligator can be refrigerated, you can place the alligator on a tarp and line both sides with ice, ensuring you cover the entire alligator in ice. Then wrap the tarp over the alligator and ice. You may skin and butcher your harvested alligator yourself, or you can take it to a permitted alligator meat processor. If you plan to sell any of the meat, you can only legally do so if it was processed by a licensed alligator processing facility. A listing of permanent alligator meat processors can be found at myfwc.com alligator. If you would like to process the alligator yourself, there are several videos on YouTube that show you how. You are required to label each package of alligator meat with the CITES tag number and the license holder's name using permanent ink. Information on storing and cooking the meat and preserving the hide can be found in the FWC's Guide to Alligator Hunting in Florida. In addition, you can search for recipes at the Fresh from Florida website. Hides may only be sold to licensed fur and hide dealers, which can be found at myfwc.com alligator. You are allowed to give or sell skeletal parts, including the skull, to anyone. But records must be kept showing who the parts were transferred to. Remember, after harvesting an alligator or handling raw alligator meat, you should wash your hands thoroughly with soap or antibacterial solution. And make sure to thoroughly wash all knives and surfaces with hot, soapy water. You are required to mail back any unused CITES tags by November 15th to the address on the screen. Being a safe and responsible hunter is an important way to preserve the future of Florida's statewide alligator harvest program. Help ensure alligator hunting continues to be viewed in a positive light by showing respect to Florida wildlife, other hunters, and those who don't hunt. When alligator hunting late at night, keep the volume of your voice to a minimum to avoid disturbing those residents living along the water's edge. Also, avoid shining lights at these residences. Transport harvested alligators discreetly and properly dispose of the carcasses. Don't discard carcasses in the water or alongside the road. Instead, dispose of any unwanted alligator parts in a trash receptacle. Thank you for doing your part to help build support for hunting in Florida. If you have any questions about this material or about alligators or alligator hunting in Florida, visit myfwc.com alligator or call the FWC's Alligator Management Program at 352-732-1225. Good luck, have fun, and be safe.